I'm Tim Crickets. Welcome to Grassmasters. It's a beautiful day here in funky Little Five Points, Atlanta, Georgia. My name's Jim Crickets, and I'm here to show you some of the beautiful strands of grass Atlanta has to offer. Follow me. Now right off the bat, I'm seeing some beautiful varieties up and down the street here. Now we st are still in a sort of an urban area, so we're not getting a whole lot of grass, but oh, <laughs> that's a beautiful lawn. Let's see if we can get permission from the owners of this house to check out some of the great strands they've got growing. Come on. Hey, my name's Jim Crickets, and I was wondering if we could use your lawn to shoot our television show about grass. Sure. Let's go. Uh, as you can see down here, let's start off right off the bat. We got a thick blade right here. This is a Peruvian grass. Um, this is not native to North America, and it is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. But I love the leaves coming off of this bad boy. I love it. It's green. You can, if it is what I think it is. Looks like the owner hasn't really been taking care of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's tom grass. Woo, some real skinny little guys over here. I'm loving this grass. Let's take a look here. Now, as you can see, these these got little flowers on them. And if you take one of these bad boys off, pop this underneath the, the scope. Can I teach her son something? She's the boss of you and you Oh, boy. Let me speak. Great stuff. Moving along. Ooh, some nice grass over here. Maybe we'll find a four-leaf clover. <laughs> That's a good one right there. You listen closely. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Great piece of grass. Taking one for the team this guy did so that I can look at him under the scope. <laughs> hey, part of the job is getting a little dirty. I'm not afraid to get dirty for my grass. Is this part of the uh, thing? One thing I love about grass that I don't love about humans is that grass can't say no. Grass can't be angry. Grass can't be ne- uh, This is the last time you come in my goddamn house and pick your stupid fucking videos on- We're gonna shoot it anyway.
what you want to do. <laughs> Everywhere I was open and exposed, and I was far from the bathroom. My name's Tommy. My name's Doug. What we do is we get old businesses, old houses, we gather up all the old trash and we take it to the dump. I've been dumping it for about 28 years. Um, We're just trash people moving trash. <laughs> My partner in crime is Tommy. We have a nice little Toyota Tacoma. And here's the, the dump, dump daddy. So I was getting my hair removed the other day and I got a call on my cell and it was my Uncle Gabe. He was in the process of dying. We got to Doug's uncle's house probably around high noon. He was dead on arrival. Boy, was that place a dump. It smelled like a dead pig. Got my own show! Man, was that a parasite's paradise. You know, Doug, you know, every time we get to the job, he just, you know, he just goes straight to the bathroom. He'll be on that john for about 15, 20 minutes. I've got a rat's brain and an overactive bladder. Before a long day of dumping, I like to indulge in some dumper's juice. Dump juice is kind of how we get ready before we start a job. It's kind of like Red Bull, but it's way more intense. You get high on this stuff, let me tell you what. I would say I would describe it as ecstasy meets Pepsi-Cola. Put it down. Hey, after we loaded up the truck, it was time to head to the dump. We get it nice and tight, we get it tied down. And that way when you're on the highway, you're going 90, 100, 120 miles an hour, you don't have to worry about stuff coming off. The important thing to do is actually to tie your safety harness to the wheel itself. That way, the traction from the tire pulls down on the cord and keeps this stuff nice and secure. Doug doesn't let me sit up front anymore. But you know, I gotta be in the back. I gotta make sure, you know, things if things fall out, I gotta let him know, let him stop the car, and so I can get out and grab it. We gotta go back and get that. Get out and get it! Get out and get it! Don't I don't ask. let him ride in the truck anymore because he farts so much and his farts smell like rotten, burnt hair. It's disgusting. Yeah, no, yeah. I, don't let him I think he likes to turn up NPR really loud and scream at people Aww. on the street. Steven, are you there with me? So Steven is our guy who scopes out dumps for us. He'll look around town, he'll find the best dumps possible. Is this Steven? Hey, I'm doing great, Steve. Uh, we're looking for a hot dump to dump a load down in. Where, where's my closest dump to my current location? We had some boxes to throw away, and it's a known fact around the Atlanta area, there's not many dumps that are willing to take boxes. So can, you, can you find one that does have boxes? All right, I see one. It's not a big dump. How big is dump you got right now? It's a hot load, but it's small. It ain't too big, it's, right. but it's hot. This one's on Highway 3. All right? Great. I'm headed there right now. Thanks, Steve. <sighs> So Steve scoped out a pretty good spot. It was called Dave's Dump. When we pulled up, I saw a strange man standing out by the gate. When I got to Dave's, I was a little nervous. I saw him looking around, kind of beating his eyes at us, you know. I've been to a lot of dumps, and I know when things are gonna get a little shaky. What do you got? Uh, we got metal, we got some plastic, mm -hmm. we got some styrofoam, mm -hmm. we got boxes, we got some- Wait, wait, wait. what'd you say? Uh, we got styrofoam, we got boxes. No, 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 no. No, we, we don't take boxes. No, no. No, no, no boxes here at all. Lo and behold, they did not take boxes. Steve really screwed that one up. Uh, no boxes. Absolutely not. My name's Dave. I own a dump. Folks say I'm mean. Folks say I'm a piece of shit. About twice a month, some mother will come in with a box. No boxes. No boxes. Sorry about that. We, don't, we won't dump the boxes. one box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The moment they came, I could smell it on them that they were going to me over somehow. A little bit more, a little bit more. You know, they don't, I, don't, I never knew my, my daddy or my mama. They told me I was born on a playground. Who, I mean, how, how the, how the f would I know? Ended up uh, being a, a, what they call a butthole scraper. I mean, things got real dark, real, real, real dark. Uh, had me actually doing uh, spit shines on, on folks' asshole. It's taken a long time to get to where I am. I felt a little uncomfortable when he was kind of looking in the back of the truck like we are doing something suspicious. Those motherfuckers came in with their little Toyota piece of, that little piece of shit. 
We got a little Toyota Tacoma, it's a 2007. It's an automatic transmission. I didn't spring for the sport package. It's sort of lower, the, the suspension's not, it's not that great. Um, it doesn't have automatic windows, for instance. It's not like a, it's not a sport special package. You know, it doesn't have the little S on the back. Um, doesn't have the extended cab. It's just, it's standard. So it doesn't have the little doors on the back where you can see, like the little seats in the back. It's just two doors straight ahead, no no window tent, just, but it does, it gets the job done. And that's what I love about Toyota is that the, the cars, they last forever and anybody can fix them. Yeah, we're gonna toss this. Now I was real excited at first because I saw this, uh, this deep fryer and it seemed, it, lo it looked like it was in working order and, and uh, I think my wife might appreciate that. It's a deep that. fryer. We gotta go. Dave was irate that he that we had a box. <laughs> I got yelled at. I, I tried, you know, I ran, I ran as fast as I could. I can't, I mean, I can't compete with that speedster. Every every fucker that comes in here is gonna bring a box and try to throw it in my dumpster. Well, that's. Listen, Steve, we just got back from Dave's dump, and guess what? He doesn't take boxes. You had one job to tell me who takes boxes. What? What's the problem? Yeah, Dave's dump off Highway 4. You explicitly told me he takes boxes, and that's your one job. Dan's dumb. Next time I'm gonna write it down, I'm gonna listen. I'm sorry, Steve. Well, we're gonna be back at the at the headquarters soon. Alright. Alright. Alright, All right, talk to you later. Dan's dumb. The people have spoken, and Dave's got his own show. It's Dave's dumb! I got my own show! It's Dave's time to shine. Watch yeah. Dave as he navigates the life of a dump owner. I used to shine assholes and suck in it. Now I own that. That's the American dream right there. He's big. He's bad. He's back. Y'all like my dump? Y'all sure you play by my rules? <laughs> Y'all go play by my rules. I have my dump. You sure as hell are. It's Dave's dump. <laughs> Through the trial